Uh, let's talk to our raw reporter, Cameron Walker, who's here in the studio. Afternoon, Cameron. You've got some breaking news on this. Yeah, a lot to unpack there. We'll go into there in a bit more detail later. However, we have just found out that in Spain, of course, Spare, Prince Harry's uh, memoir is being published in 16 different languages, have accidentally put it on sale five days early. So oh, if you right. are in Spain, you can, it would appear, buy Prince Harry's memoir in Spanish bookshops. Presumably, they are trying to recall said books, but I know that uh, The Sun is claiming that they have managed to get a copy of it, so stand by for perhaps more bombshells uh, coming from that direction. But clearly, this comes when we were told yesterday that it was so, there was so much security surrounding the publication of this book. It was likened to the final Harry Potter book being mm. published back in 2007 under locking, lock and key satellite tracking devices on trucks. So this is a huge security brief for, uh, breach for Penguin Random House. Yeah, isn't it just? Um, look, on what we know so far then, according to the leak that the Guardians got hold of, there's all this hoo-ha over saying, you know, his brother... William, our future king, was sort of violent towards him. They had a scuffle, didn't they? I mean, it might not be very nice, but they are brothers. These things do happen. They do happen, and I'm sure very many families where similar incidents have happened. I think the problem for Prince William and the palace, to some extent, is that what would usually happen in private is now being aired very much in public. And, of course, Prince William is now Prince of Wales. He is heir to the throne. And having the heir to the throne's brother publicly claim that he was physically attacked by the Duke, then Duke of Cambridge isn't going to go down particularly too well. Prince Harry claims he, he was pushed to the ground, he hit the dog bowl which smashed, which caused injuries to his back. Um, and it all was a scuffle and argument around uh, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, when they were living in Nottingham Cottage. It's, it's just not a very good look, but it, 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 it almost cheapens the monarchy to some extent, because it, it sounds like a soap opera rather than the royal family. Doesn't it just? Though I have to say, um, the fact... <laughs> It's also a claim William said that Meghan was difficult, rude and abrasive. Mm. Well, I haven't heard that before. Well, I'm going to say it doesn't come as much of a surprise, does it? Well, we've heard several claims that Meghan is like that. Clearly, we don't know as facts because none of us know, know her one. personally. But clearly, Prince Harry is saying that that's what William thought himself. So you can see how this scuffle occurred. But I think this perhaps is just going to be one incident involving the two brothers' fallout. And at the bottom of the extracts in The Guardian, in fact, there's a separate e extract which The Guardian has published talking about um, following Prince Philip's funeral. And Prince Charles had to stand between William and Harry, who were very much arguing, arguing a red faced. And he said, please, boys, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't argue. Um, don't make my final years a misery, is what, is what he said. So, which is really sad, actually, because I think it just shows this loving father, who's literally just buried his own father, mm. um, having to deal with his two sons fighting. What seems um, difficult in all of this, in the, in the clip we just heard, um, and we've heard it before, to be fair, Harry saying, well, the, you know, I want to reconcile, the ball is in their court. Well, I would, that's not strictly true, is it? I mean, it's, it seems like this has got to come from both sides, hasn't it? Which, and, it and it doesn't seem to be, with these revelations coming out, that's hardly going to help. Yeah, this is the big problem. We're only getting Prince Harry's version of the truth. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace, and Kensington Palace looks after Prince William's office, uh, is, is remaining very tight-lipped. They are not commenting on any of the leaks, any of the book, any of the claims, um, which clearly presents a problem to us because we're only getting one side of the story and trying to balance it is pr proving quite difficult. But I think the palace's strategy of never complain, never explain is working. You just have to look at the latest YouGov poll, which came out just before the Netflix docuseries aired, which showed that Harry and Meghan's popularity had, had plummeted, really. It, it, it was very much downhill. They still remain the least popular royals amongst the British public, um, apart from Prince Andrew. The rest of the royal family are still more popular with the British public. I mean, the, the never explain, never complain thing. I mean, it, it's, it's like the old adage, isn't it, that, you know, today's headlines are tomorrow's chip paper. Mm. Uh, and you sort of get the sense if, if the royals can ride this out, 
then it will, in effect, as far as the British public are concerned, just go away. It allows Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace, the royal household, to focus on their engagements and, you know, the, uh, the charity work that really matters to them and try and ignore all this noise which is coming from across the Atlantic. Um, but on the other hand, that it is only, you know, one side of the story that we're getting. And... Presumably, their, their bargaining chip is that the British public are going to stick with the Buckingham Palace and being on the side of Buckingham Palace. If opinion polls start to sway more into Harry and Meghan's favour, perhaps they'll rethink. But for now, it looks like they're going to be sticking with the no comments line. Yeah.